We talk different. Sodas for pops. Movies for flicks. If you were taller than him in any type of way, he wanted to know if you could dunk the ball. <laughs> and if not, if you had any type of game whatsoever. But he raises us to be true to ourselves. He raises us to put family first and put others before ourselves. He also had a great sense of humor. I'll give you an example. One day I'm sitting in the room, I was a lot younger, and me and my dad are downstairs. We used to watch a lot of movies together. We were, you know, our whole family we used to have movie nights. Everyone would get together and we'd pile up, watch movies. Me and my pop was up late one night. Everybody else was asleep. And we're watching a movie, and we have this, this um, in the basement, there's like a half door. So you can see kind of like, it's only a half section of the door, the bottom section. So we see something out of the corner of our eye just kind of flashing in and out, in and out. We kind of keep looking over, but we think we're tripping. We're like, ain't nothing over there. So all of a sudden, something just comes flying up out of the basement and starts flying in circles. And we like, it's a bat in the house. Flying circles, so next thing you know, me and dad are hiding under a table, <laughs> trying, to, trying to devise a plan on how we're going to get rid of this bat. But we were, like I said, we were all in the movie, and I don't know if anybody's ever seen Black Sheep, it's a movie, and it was a similar situation, and they used a, a sheep to track the bat. So dad was like, let's go get a sheep, go upstairs and grab a sheep. So I get a sheep, we're chasing this bat downstairs, next thing you know, it ends up upstairs. There's people trying to sleep. So we're trying to be quiet, run around with this sheet, and eventually we get the, the bat in the bathroom. So we shut the door. And we're like, alright, cool. We'll be like, well, we can't leave it in there. People gonna get up in the morning. So dad's like, alright, I got a plan. He's like, you faster than me, right? Uh, I don't like where this is going, but yeah, a little bit, I guess. It's alright, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open the door real quick. You run in there, open the window, and then I'm open the door real quick, back up for you. Then we close the door and the bat's just gonna fly out the window. Sound like a good enough plan to me. So I went with it. You, my brothers probably know it. it, it I should have knew better than that. So I, he opens up the door, I run inside. Boom, the door shuts. I go in over the back, looking at me, he's hanging upside down. As soon as I come in, he starts flying crazy. So I open up the window and I run back. I open the door, and he's on the other side of the door, holding onto the door, leaning back and laughing his butt off. And if you know my dad, he, his laugh was crazy. He's been laughing, cracking up. So I'm kind of pissed at first, but I can't do nothing but laugh. So we go downstairs, and um, we probably laughed. We, we went downstairs trying to keep it down, because people was kind of getting upset. They didn't know what was going on. And he was, he's like, what's going on out there? So we go downstairs. And uh, we laughed for probably like 10, 15 minutes, just like could not stop laughing. And that's my dad, I mean, he just had a great sense of humor. Um, like I said, he loved movies. That's where we were going when that happened. He loved Western movies. Anything black and white, the Cowboys, he was all about it. He loved sci-fi movies, anything about the unknown. But back in the day when we were young, we had one TV in the house, and we were forced to watch a lot of Star Trek. <laughs> and Seinfeld. I don't know why he liked Seinfeld so much, but I actually really enjoy it now. And I'll probably never watch Seinfeld without thinking about my dad again. Um, he had a wide array of movies and different actors and things he liked. He watched anything from Red Fox, Golden Light, to Rodney Dangerfield, uh, National Lampoons. He loved to laugh. We loved to watch a lot of sports together. We saw a lot of great sports together, from everywhere from Magic and Bird, MJ to Kobe, now into LeBron. And I'll mention real quick that my dad is from Ohio, so to him, LeBron is the greatest thing since sliced bread in the basketball world. I do not agree. Jordan was better than LeBron. Um, watched a lot of the Wizards game. You know, we, we got into watching Wizards and recent years, even though they were a horrible team to watch, but we thought they had a chance in 2015. I think in 15, we might not, me and my pops, we probably watched every playoff game, probably close to every game that year. It was a good season, we thought we were going to win, but in reality, it's probably going to take two lifetimes for the Wizards to win. <laughs>
Can you welcome my beautiful wife into his life with open arms and develop a great relationship with her? And always treated my daughter with such love and care. I never once saw my pops get upset with her, never raised his voice with her, nothing but unconditional love. I see her sitting on his shoulders and she just be yanking at his hair, just pulling his hair out. And I say, little girl, what are you doing? And what did Pop say to you? Oh, we just playing. That's my little girl. We just playing with her. We just let her dress her up in little outfits, strange outfits or whatever. Put makeup on her, come home. But I love my dad. I love you, Dad. I wish we could have gotten more time. But I'm grateful for every moment that I got with my dad. Thank you, guys.